This is Algebra 1 Lesson 10-7, Solving Quadratics by Taking Square Roots, not the intro lesson. Um, today's date is um, Wednesday, April 15th, April 15th, 2020. Um, our objective for today is to solve quadratics by taking the square root of squared expressions. And what I mean by that is some sort of expression like that to the power of 2, something that's more than just one term. So let's jump right into it. Everything just builds off of the last lesson, pretty straightforward. Um, I need to solve. So I'm going to undo PEMDAS. Let's write out PEMDAS to the side so we can use it as a roadmap. P-E-M-D-A-S. This is what I'm always thinking of in my mind. I'm going this direction because I'm trying to solve. So what addition and subtraction can I get rid of? I can add 49 to both sides. Add 49. We'll get rid of that 49. I'm left with this x minus 4 quantity squared is equal to 49. So the most common mistake on these types of problems is thinking, okay, I can just add four. That is incorrect because that four is being trapped inside the parentheses. Parentheses is the highest rung. That's the last thing that we're allowed to do. Notice that we have to hit this exponent, this E, before we can get inside of the parentheses. So um, that's a, a long-winded way of saying get rid of this two first. So how do I undo a square? I square root and square root both sides to keep both of the the left and right side of the equal sign um, balanced. And then this um, square root and square cancel each other out. I'm left with just this x minus 4, and that's equal to the square root of 49. It's not just 7, it's plus or minus 7. Whenever I take the square root, you always have to do plus or minus. And then my final step is just to add 4 to both sides. Plus 4, plus 4, and therefore those are gone. x is now equal to um, you can say this one of two ways. You can either say plus or minus 7 plus 4, which is fine. Um, that is the same thing. I'm going to do this little arrow that says I can go backwards and forwards. That's the same thing as 4 plus or minus 7. <laughs> and then that's also the same thing as saying, um, well, what is 4 plus 7? Let's do this plus sign first. 4 plus 7 is 11 is one of the answers, and 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So the two answers are 11 and negative 3. These are the two answers that Khan Academy wants, and then you'll put the smallest one first, or the most negative one first, so will put negative 3 and then 11. Okay, let's move on to example 2, and then we're done. So this one is finding the zeros, just very similar to the last type of um, homework that we had. Um, f of x, that's going to be switched out for... Ooh, um, hold on. Command... Control shift Z. Is that nope? It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I want to change the blue. There we go. Okay. So this f of x is equal to zero. Now that's what it means to find the zeros. Where are the heights zero? And this f of x means height. So zero is equal to rewrite all this x plus two quantity squared minus eighty one. All right. Same steps as before. We're gonna undo PEMDAS. So I'm going to add eighty one to both sides. Add eighty one. And when I do that, I'm left with 81 on the left-hand side is equal to x plus 2 quantity squared on the right-hand side. And then from there, I'm going to square root both sides. So I'm going to square root the left-hand side and square root the right-hand side. I'm doing that because I'm trying to undo this uh, to the power of 2. So when I do that, the, the square root and the square cancel each other out, and I'm left with just x plus 2. And that's equal to plus or minus 9. Remember that plus or minus every single time you take a square root from here on out for the rest of your mathematical career. Um, and then, yeah, subtract 2, and then we're done. So minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, and more formally, or not more formally, more typically in mathematics, the way that we list this is like you do the, the number first, negative 2, and then you write the plus or minus, plus or minus 9. That's the value of x. And then for Khan Academy, we have to figure out what are those two different values. So let's do the plus first. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. So x is equal to 7 is one of the answers. And x is equal to negative 2 minus 9 is the same thing as, let me draw this out, negative 2 minus 9 is the same thing as negative 2 plus a negative 9, which is negative 11. So those are our two final answers. And again, you'd list the negative 11 first on Khan Academy because that's the smallest or most negative number. And we're done. That includes Algebra 1 Notes 10-7. I'll see you guys tomorrow.